I'm making bacon wrapped smoky links. What you'll need is two packages of bacon, a package of, depending on how many you want to make, and a package, 16 ounce package of cocktail smokies. And also you'll need a cup of ketchup, a cup and a half of brown sugar, one teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of salt. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bake our sausages for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Well, not first. Actually, I want to preheat my oven while I'm thinking about it. And then I'm going to open up my bacon and my sausages. And you're going to take your bacon. I've got a cutting board here. Take it out. Lay it down. And you're going to cut it in half lengthwise. Cut. Oh, and you'll need some toothpicks. Get this bacon cut. That's my knife. What you'll do is, you'll take a little bit of, yeah, one half a strip of bacon and one of your cocktail smoky. You're going to wrap it. And you want to be sure, you take a cookie sheet and put aluminum foil on it and you want to be sure and use that aluminum foil because otherwise you're going to have a mess. Because after we bake them, then we're going to mix up these other ingredients and dip them in a sauce and put them back in the oven for about 10 minutes. So you want to do that to each one of your smokies until you use all your smokies or all your bacon. And then once we get them all wrapped, then we'll pop, pop them in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, I've got my little smokies all wrapped in bacon. And one pound of bacon did all but six of my little smokies. That's why I said you need two pounds of bacon. But, you know, if you don't care to, you know, I guess I'll just throw these little ones on there and then I'll just, they'll be alright. They just won't have a little piece of bacon around them. So now I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes and while they're cooking, I'm going to mix up our sauce. Alright, while our smokies are cooking, we're going to mix up our sauce and you need a cup of ketchup Come on. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cup of ketchup. Need a cup and a half of brown sugar. I'm using white brown sugar. Back it in there a little bit. There's a half. These are a huge hit. Uh, oh, they're just so delicious. You'll love them. Everybody that ever eats them falls in love with them. Alright. Now, got to get a teaspoon of mustard. Okay. And a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Right. 
half a tablespoon of chili powder. If you like them like stuff spicier, you might go with a whole tablespoon. And half a teaspoon of salt. Now you just want to mix this up and it can just set aside and let the flavors kind of blend together while our sausages cook. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We've cooked our bacon wrapped little smokies. We've got our sauce all mixed up and all we're going to do now is carefully, oh, come on. Here's one that's not wrapped. We're going to dip it in the sauce. That's all we got to do is each one pull it up, dip it in the sauce. Do this until you've dipped each one, and then we'll put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes. All right, now I've pulled the bacon wrapped smoky links. I've had them in the oven now after I dipped them in the sauce for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put them in my broiler on high for 5 minutes and you want to watch closely because they could burn. Alright, our bacon wrapped smoky links are finally done. We popped them in the broiler after cooking them in the oven and basically putting them in the broiler it just makes your bacon just a little, it just makes it a little bit crispy, not too much. These are delicious. You'll love them. They'll be a favorite at parties and get togethers. And it's a good make ahead appetizer. You can make them a day or two in advance and then just warm them up when you need them. They keep in the refrigerator pretty good for a day or two. And you can find this recipe and others at carolseasycooking.com.